then all of a sudden the body begins to react to what the soul has said. Because the spirit cannot control the body. I keep saying it cannot. The spirit can control the soul. The soul is what controls the body. There is no way, the spirit and the flesh is constantly at battle. And the reason why they are constantly at war is because of the soul. The devil does not even have access to your body. Where the devil comes is through the soul. The soul is your gateway. Whichever one that controls the soul, the body reacts to whichever one that is the master of the soul. That's why your spirit is saved, but your soul needs retransformation. So when you keep transforming your soul, your soul begins to become more like your spirit. And then your body begins to act like your spirit. Then teleportation is possible. Then appearing in dreams. Now, now you think it's spiritism, but this is the truth. Then visitation is possible where you are sleeping and you appear in a place and then you are doing crusade and you wake up, all your body is feeling pain. You know you actually went there. When you lay hand on, the peop on people, healing does not happen just because you lay hand. Healing happens because the virtue has to leave your spirit. And your soul has to allow the virtue to flow through the soul to your body. Yes, that's it. That's why in most cases, you see, when, when you are laying hand on the sick, you have to visualize power moving from your body to them. But when you don't have time, you just have to reactivate through your conscious mind that now this is the hand of Christ. And then you start laying hand. And knowing that every single time you touch them, something is happening to them. That was the consciousness that Jesus was working with. That was why when the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of his garment, something happened to the woman. There were people that were touching him, but nothing was happening. Jesus understands that there is a current of virtue that is flowing through me, but only one that has faith can draw from it. So a woman said to herself that I know if I can touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. And when she stretched her hand and touched the hem of the garment, something happened. Healing took place. And Jesus said, who touched me? And the disciples were like, how can you be saying, who touched me? I mean, there are a lot of persons here pressing on you here. 